people! Yes, I'm back once again to bring you yet another demo disc. That now I'm actually going uh, backwards in the series to try and sort of fill in the gaps that are left between 79 and 97. I can't do 78 because I still don't have that disc. But I have quite a lot of discs that are between the two that I didn't have when I started the series. So as you can see, we have got a pretty cool looking menu interface actually. But like I said, uh, Actually, I don't think I said it, but this is the official UK PlayStation Magazine demo number 79. Uh, not known as Euro Demo anything because this was back when they still had the really cool looking uh, discs with like the number and everything. In big letters and all that. Well, big numbers, whatever, I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is from, I think, Christmas 2001, I believe. And yeah, if we see what games are on here, we've got David Beckham Soccer. Worms or Party, I look forward to playing that one. <laughs> party Time with Winnie the Peel, I can't even say that with a straight face, but uh, I can't really say it. I, uh, yeah, I don't look forward to playing that one. Music 2000, NBA Basketball, that's kind of redundant. I don't know why you can just say NBA, but whatever. v Roll 2, didn't I play this on the last disc? No, that was uh, 96, wasn't it? Not 97. I'm confused at Con Crate 2.0. Uh, Seriously? Why is this on here twice? I don't really get that. And yeah, whatever. Uh, Harry Potter. It doesn't say which one, but I'm guessing it's the Philosopher's Stone. I mean, this is from 2001, so yeah. Goal of the Month and uh, Maj Jong. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Mahjong, but whatever. And Downloader. So let's see. David Beck and Soccer. See what this is like. Uh, I never played this. I mean, there's a lot of football games on PS1 never played. Um, you know, like demos and all that. You know, there's a few good ones, but, you know, the only one that really I bothered, you know, to, to get any good in was like FIFA. <laughs> like I said, I never played this one. So, okay, Germany against England. See, ooh, okay, I will press, press stop. Uh, ooh, okay, so it plays Germany or England. Uh, ooh. Okay, classic. Wait, classic match, wasn't... Yeah, like I said, this demo was from 2001. Here was just a classic back then. Uh, okay, come back from 1-0, score five goals. Oh, okay, I see. It's like, uh, yeah, that match where England scored like five goals against Germany. I do remember that. Uh, yeah, sure, it's good. Okay, how do I... Oh, okay, yeah, press square. Uh, is there a way to look at the controls in this? I don't know. So if there isn't, oh, okay, you can change the camera. That's nice. Uh, it's something you don't often see with PS1 games, I don't think. Yeah. In view overhead, fix side. Just go with the default because you know I'm used to sideline camera in like PS1 games. Actually, let's increase the distance. Uh, here we go back. I want to see if there's a way to look at the controls on this because. I don't know the controls. It's like, who do you expect me to know the controls? Uh, apparently they do, which kind of sucks. Fine, I'll try to figure them off as I go. Actually, no, that camera's a bit too zoomed out, I think. Uh, no, that's not it. Game zones, camera. I know I'm messing around too much with the camera, but, you, you know, let's go with that. That ought to work out. Ooh. Okay, what are I... Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Square is... Okay, I'm guessing square is shoot. When you're in offense, of course. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay, so square... Okay, so the square button shoots. I don't know what the other buttons do, though. Uh, I'm guessing X and circle are to pass, presumably. I mean, I... I'm not totally sure. Uh, okay, how do you press? And Actually, no. What's the point? How do you sprint in this? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. See, this is the... This is one thing that really annoys me about these demos more than anything, is when they don't tell you how to control the game. It's like, because basically to me it just feels like they, they're just too lazy to just tell you. I mean, like, f like FIFA, they could do it there, but no other sports game I've run to so far, I think, does that. And that's re and that really sucks. I mean, it's like... Okay, and like, I don't even know how to slide tackle. Okay, apparently it's circle. And now I can't even catch up to the other place. It's ridiculous. This doesn't really work. 
So I'm going to say right now, this does not work. Uh, you know, just in terms of how it works. It feels, it feels like PES. And I can tell you right now, I hate PES. I, I just thought it was a terrible game. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Uh, you can like pass the different players with different buttons. But again, how am I supposed to control this? I have no idea. They don't tell you in the game, and you just have to guess on your own. That's the thing that annoys me about these demos more than anything. They don't tell you how to do it. And really, in a football game, that's kind of that's kind of essential because they differ with each game, and. So, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I will say this. The graphics are good. The gameplay, on the other hand, really does not work for me. I mean... Honestly, I think I might just quit this in a bit, because... I'm not getting anywhere with this. And I've no and from what I've noticed, you really cannot catch up to the other players. Uh, so, I think you... Okay, I can only assume you sprint with R1. I don't know. They don't tell you in the... Oh, no, you don't sod it. If they're not going to bother telling me the controls, I'm not going to bother playing it, because, you know. I mean, there are certain games where I can understand, like, you, the, you know, where you, there's, like, an area where you can just, like, you know, learn how the controls work. I mean, even Tenchu had that. Okay, football games don't have that. It's like, you're first into the game immediately, and there's no training or anything like that. So, you know, if they're not going to tell me the controls, then they can sod themselves. This <laughs> worms are a party. Uh, okay, I, I've never played this on PlayStation 1, I've played this on, um, what was it, I played it on the PC, but I haven't played this on PS1. I've got Worms Armageddon on the PS1, and I've got the original one as well, um, and, you know, they're good. Uh, oh, I, no, I didn't want to skip that. <laughs> I like this little, I like the little intro movies where it's got like, Worms and stuff, but I skipped it. Which kind of sucks. Uh, single player, please. Quick game. Because I'm guessing you probably can't like make your own custom matches. Because, but you know, to demo. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. I'm guessing this is going to be like Worms Armageddon. The yeah, age just the way to set up an everything. But let's see. Odin. Didn't love that. Uh, okay, how do you look around the map? Because I don't remember what button it was. Okay, so R1, it's not... See, this is a game where I could put up with having to learn the controls myself. I can't even hit any of the other... Of course, I can't even hit any of the enemies, because I'm... Do you have to press circle? No, select for the... Okay, it does select stuff. Because a lot, it's on a lot of demos, it just, like, switches the demo off. Which is kind of annoying when they do that. And yeah, I... Well, I didn't really have any choice on... To, the, you know, I really hate these sort of indoor maps because half the time you're pretty much forced to like shoot your own players to even just to get to the opponents, and that really kind of sucks. Okay, well, at least I hit one. <sighs> yeah, I see this is the thing, uh, worms it can be very unbalanced at times with uh, you know, how the worms are placed. I mean, you know, because, I mean, my, in, yeah, my first one, I couldn't even get any of the enemies from World Wars. So it's like, I pretty much had no choice but to hit my other player. And that really sucks. And God damn, why is the opponent taking so long to actually do anything? I mean, I don't really play these sort of single matches much anyway, but still. You know, I mean, I usually just play, like, you know, custom matches online and all that. Like, actual human players and all that. So I'm used to. <sighs> yeah, good job there. <sighs> okay, well, which one's worm two? Okay, it's the one on the bridge. Oh, I think I know what to do here. Uh, let's do this. Try to get away. No, no what? I don't want to jump backwards. I killed both of them, so that's the important thing. As long as I don't kill. As long as I don't kill Worm 3 on this next turn, I should be fine, I think. Uh, but let's see. Well, let's eventually see when the opponent actually decides to do something. <laughs> so I'm going to try and hit this one for no reason. Actually, have I got the Worm Select, or... Oh, I can't check when to the opponent's turn, that kind of sucks. Great. I'm sure you could do that in the PC version. Like, you just check what weapons you had while it was their turn. 
It's one of those, that was something that was kind of bugged me at the computer in this is, is no matter who you were playing against, every now and then they would always be able to get like a perfect shot. Just do that. So at least I can get more of the worms to kill them. Uh, yeah, okay. Back up is arrived. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever played the demos for any like the worms games or anything. So I mean, it's like. You know, I I mean, I have Worms Armageddon, and I didn't get uh, this demo until recently, so, you know. Of course, I wasn't going to play this. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, okay, what the hell is he doing? What are you... Uh, oh, let me guess, it timed out. Why does... Uh, why do these demos need to have time limits? It's stupid. I mean, I can understand it for, like... I don't know, like a game where it's like, you know, it's only a few levels and they're particularly long or something. Or if it's like a pinball game or something, I could kind of understand that. But stuff like this is just really annoying. And I don't really get it. I'm just going to quit out of the screen. There's so nothing that kind of bugs you about these demos when you have like these random screens for no reason. And they're just there to annoy you. It's like, does anyone even read this stuff? I doubt it. <laughs> It's like, if I wanted to read this stuff, I wouldn't be trying to play a playable demo of it, would I? This. And I'm just saying. Uh, but what have we got now? What do we have now? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, this game. Party time, win the poo. Yeah, okay. It's a bit hilarious if it turns out it's a game where you get, like, bombed on Jägermeisters or something. Be more fun game than one I'm expecting at least. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, let's see what we've got here. Wait, did Sony publish this seriously? Yeah, Disney, what a surprise. Kind of <laughs> doki danky, seriously. Actually no, didn't they, didn't they make that Peter Pan game come to think of it? That I played on a demo 84 for like two seconds and died in. It's been the same thing as happened on this. Yeah, well, the cutscene's just a great, I tell you that much. Oh, no. Ooh. No. I'm afraid you can't have this honey because it's stuck to my face and I'm eating it. So I don't remember Piglet sound like that in the show. I mean, it's been years since I've watched it. I was like, like five when I watched this. So, you know. I could just be remembering back wrong or something. But yeah. I just remember the basic characters, that was about it. And I remember the, there was a lot of honey in it as well, for some reason. Which I never really understood that. There's a lot of bees. Nicholas Cage is Winnie the Pooh. Oh no, not the bees! Not the bees! Yeah, I, I do apologize for making that reference, but you know. When there's like a load of bees chasing enough to, you know, go for, you know, you pretty much have to. Actually, why are you even doing this game anyway? I have no idea. Also, why is this on the menu twice? Is there like a video for it as well or something? I don't know. Guess I'm guessing the game actually starts now. Presumably. Okay, so let's start. Uh, as you can see, 2001, so obviously this is a new game. You can tell they were getting desperate for new demos by this point. And that includes stuff like this. I mean, in fact, I think there's one demo coming up on, like, a late... I mean, there's a few demos come, like, later on that just show just how desperate the PlayStation magazine were. Okay, so I have to play as Tigger, apparently. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll see in, like, the next... Well, within the next few discs, I think, that I'm looking at, uh, they were getting pretty desperate for new games on these discs. I mean... Yeah. I mean... I never played this, <laughs> as you can probably guess. I mean, I got this demo pretty recently, and, you know, I don't have any use for preschool games, you know. Last time I checked, I wasn't in preschool. I mean, and, I mean, it's like I might suck at video games, I don't suck this badly to be playing this stuff constantly. Oh, is this like a board game or something? Oh, I get maybe it's like Mario Party or something. Presumably. Something looks like it. Oh, no, I don't think it's a circuit or anything. Okay. 
so oh well no I'm playing to take you aren't I? And go for is the other player. Oh god these low times. <laughs> I could already say this is gonna be brilliant just from these low times. I just turn like half an hour just to load a mini game. I get this, why would you need like two loading screens? I mean you got that loading bar, you have that other loading screens. Oh, if I go play this. Uh complete ten laps. Okay, I guess I do play this. Yes, I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah, crash team racing this isn't. It's more like that. Well if anything, it's more like that, you know, racing thing than the Toy Story 2 game I looked at on the last disc. Except, of course, you know. Except that might actually be more difficult than this. Oh no, I spun out for some reason. But yeah, like I, like I said, Crash Team Racing this really isn't, or, you know, Mario Kart, whatever. So I can only say, I think this is supposed to be like, uh, like a preschool version of Mario Party or something. It certainly reminds, reminds me of, anyway. So I think I won that. Yeah, I think I did lap them. And... Okay, so let's see. Yeah, as you can see, I won all the honeys. Get all the honeys for PS Triple. We fly, no lie, and you know this, ball in. <laughs> yeah, get Chab one in the house to play this shit. <laughs> and yeah, I do apologise if you got like a kid to watch this with you, but you know, you're watching the wrong person. Okay, my new square is that one. I don't get why they couldn't just have you, like, roll a die. Yeah, you know, like, roll a die or whatever. Let's go for... Just go for blank. Whatever that does. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't get the board game part. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, oh. Okay, why does the go for get to have two goes before I can have mine? I don't get that. Is it because it's, like, the blank thing or something? I don't know. But I don't know, it, so far it just seems to be like Mario Party only a lot easier. I mean, Mario Party games, like, uh, you know, the mini games at least have a lot of challenge to them. Um, you know. I'd say Crash Bash, but I don't think there was any sort of board game style thing in that game. I mean, I don't have that game. I know there's a demo for it on Spur 3. Uh, like, hidden in the game. Carefully place Thunder Boxes. Whatever that means. Uh, okay, I have no idea what this is. Okay, random point, this intro sequence. Okay, so, what, okay, I'm not entirely sure what you have to do in this. I don't know, maybe it's like, a real panic or whatever it is. Oh. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Seriously, what happened? I have no idea. Oh, okay, apparently I lost. Because I... I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> oh, this is going brilliantly. Uh, not like it matters. I mean, it's not like anyone's watching this video anyway. Oh, that probably will be after this. See what's on this, though. Just seeing the mastery of Winnie the Pooh. Which is kind of funny, because he's not even in the game. Like, oh. No, I don't want to land on the bees. Oh, no, not the bees! So, let's go for plus two. Oh, okay, plus one, whatever. I'm like, Nicholas Cage, I don't land on the bees. Oh, and there we go. So, what do we do now? We got another mini game, I assume. Uh, help you. Oh, okay, I'm, get I'm assuming it ended. I hope so. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, it's like Worms World Party. You know, that's a game that I'd want to play a whole match of. This, not so much, because it just, you know. It's something I just want to get out of the way. So, what's next? I think. Was it Music 2000, I think? I think it was. I hope so, because there's one that I've been wanting to show off on these discs. Uh, yeah, Music 2000. Like I said, this is one that I've wanted to do. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This has just reminded me of something. Um, there's actually... On this disc, there's actually some music tracks that were created on Music 2000 that you can actually listen to in a CD player. 
Um, I can't show it off in this video. Uh, if you really want me, if if, it, if someone really wants me to uh, sort of yeah, upload those songs, then you know, or by all means request it. Uh, Rocket Science, okay. That's just one of the demo songs in the game, in case you're wondering. Uh, but yeah, you can actually listen to the songs on a CD player. I'm willing to bet, because I mean, I think it was made for like a competition or something. Just to have like, you know, submit your own songs and whatever. And I'm willing to bet the song that plays on that, you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 tips was just like a rejected entry from the contest or something. It wouldn't surprise me. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but yeah, so got this little demo song. I'm not sh Well, actually, no, I mean, I would let this run, but I know. There's at least one video showing the whole thing on YouTube, so... Yeah, I'm just going to skip that. Because, uh, you know... Honestly, there's not really much I can say about this. Oh, yeah, the... Hmm, that sucks. I like using the refer to because it shows my, what I could do with this thing. I mean, I've got the full version of this anyway, but, you know... I'm sure I've said that in another video. Like, I have this, and I've got music on the PS1. Uh, oh, I guess the drum and bass... Actually, let's go for this. Seeing as I can actually pick this one. Ooh, okay. Actually, no, it's a bit quiet. Let's put another one there. Yeah. As you can see, I'm just... I mean, seeing as I can't really make any of my own riffs or anything, uh, which kind of sucks, uh, you know, it kind of fails to show what this thing really is capable of. You know, this demo. Or, yeah, Music 2 Fairs itself. I mean, what I really like about this is being able to create your own riffs, create your own, like, you know, songs or whatever with the samples they have in this. Well, I was going to say game. This isn't really a game at all. It's just, you know. Uh, it's just a game. No, it's not a game. What the hell am I about? It's a program where you can just sort of, you know, make your own songs and stuff. Like I said, people enter the contest in order to make their own songs or... Whatever, uh, drum loops, please. Go have we we'll have all the percussion in this house. Uh, madness. I mean, I like House of Fun, so this would sound pretty good. Actually, you know, let's do that. Uh, ooh, okay, we're gonna have a lot of sound channels at once, which is nice. Then again, I think the music one demo could do that as well. I say music one, you know, the original one. Uh. Okay, let's just go for some. Let's go for disco bass, D I S C O. And this might start to load. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Why not? And yes. I mean, I know this isn't really. I know it's boring to watch someone do stuff on this, but yeah, I like playing this. You, but yeah, I like. Doing whatever. Uh, and yes. Uh, let's put a crash symbol at the end, I think. Let's have a little ending. <laughs> Assume there's a crash symbol available. Uh, yeah, here we go. Crash symbol. Ooh, my voice isn't really suited to music, come to think of it, but sod it. You know, I mean, of course, I'm not going to sing here because I just it'd be ridiculous. Uh, oh, and you can also play the samples here. I don't remember if you could do that in the original. There are a few good one. There are a few good like default stuff in here, but I can't remember what they were called. Yeah, let's go with that one. Actually, I wonder if you, if you could remake like the default songs on this with samples on this demo. I mean, obviously you can't remake the, remake the whole thing because you only get to use like 20, you know, 20 bars. I'm trying to see if I can find the finger one. Okay, it's not that. I don't know if it's Road Bell. Okay. No, it's not that. Uh, ozone pad, maybe. No. 
I don't know which. I don't know which one I'm looking for. So I've always organised sort of a Z when this is made by Codemasters. I don't really get that. Because, uh, you know, Codemasters are British. You know, I don't get why they can spell with an E. Or, sorry, spell with an S. That's what I meant. Actually, did I test this one? No, I didn't. Organics! <laughs> Majestic off. Majestic offbeat. <laughs> I don't some way point offbeat sample, but whatever. I'm heavenly maybe. I mean I'm just playing this stuff because I'm trying to find the right sample of them. I don't think it's this. If it loads. No, it's not that. No. Okay, I don't know why I'm playing this one. Okay. Climbing to the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go for that. Place all this stuff down. I'm it's funny that I'm trying to be like an actual musician, like doing this stuff. I don't know why I'm doing that, but you know. Uh, oh, wait, no, I don't want to delete that. So, riff, can you access the Rift Library in this? Ah, okay, you can. Nice. Oh, okay, I think it deleted the one that I wanted. No! Let me go to this. Actually, can you do the video thing? I mean, I already bother with the video thing anyway, but still. So, is it under something or other? I think it was, it said. Let's go for the part two. Yeah. You tell I've played this before because it's kind of structured like an actual song. Just. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh, you, you better believe I'm including this in. <laughs> Who's a cat that won't cut out when there's danger all about? Yeah. Why is that, seriously, where's the thing I'm looking for? Okay, well that is, okay, that's one thing I want in the song. Uh, there's one thing in particular I want to put in this. But I can't find it. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Yeah, okay, it's not that. Raw fifths, maybe? No. Ognoizo. Ah, okay, this is it. Yeah, this is definitely it. So, you know what, let's... Actually, let's put some more percussion in on the first half of it. Just to make it feel more like an actual song, I guess. Conti, what's this? Okay, let's just put this in. And let's play this, baby! Oh, actually, no, I couldn't think of it. No point in a different bass, this really doesn't fit with the song. It's kind of sad that I'm actually doing this like an actual musician, just like, you know, cutting stuff out that doesn't really fit the song. Uh, it's kind of sad this I actually heard that bass line in. It's kind of sad I actually heard that bass line used in at least one of the uh, Music 2000 songs that's on this disc that you can listen to on the CD player. They just use like a lot of the default samples. Okay, let's do this.
Oh yes, the capabilities of music 2000, the ability to make better music than this. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty much it, really, so I'm just gonna quit at this. But yeah, I mean, music 2000 is awesome. I really, I, I like messing around with it. Um, I kind of like the sound of like some of the uh, demo songs as well. You know, that's just where I am. I mean, I'm the person that would listen to that. Uh, anyway, NBA basketball. I've never played this. Uh, the only basketball game I've played on PS1 is Total NBA 97, and I don't know, I mean, I like that game, to be honest, I, I think it's a pretty decent game. But I'm not sure how it compares to this, I mean, because this is NBA, I mean, sure this is an EA game. Uh, if it starts to load up, and I don't think it is, great, I'm going to have to restart the PlayStation. Oh, wait, no, it's working. Uh, okay. So apparently this was made in 1909. Presumably. You know, these various... Oh, okay, they tell you the controls, which is nice. Uh, okay, triangle is for running. Let's see. Uh, X to pass. Square is to shoot. No, uh, sorry. Square is to steal the ball. X passes... Circle, shoot, and triangle blocks. Uh, okay, why would you do an intentional foul? I don't really understand that. I mean, I'm no expert on, you know, basketball, but still. I can't really say I've watched it much on TV. I watched a couple of matches on it, but that's really about it. I really can't tell you much about it. But what I like about basketball, though, is, you know, it tends to be like very high scoring as compared to some like football. The problem I have with football is, you know, there's a very realistic chance that the match can end without anyone scoring. Um, but yeah, as you can see, yes, this is. Actually, I'm not sure. What do you do in the, uh, the face-off thing at the start? I'm, I'm not sure what they call it in basketball, but you know, like in, you know, when they throw the ball in the end, you gotta get it first. Is it the X button or is it the circle button? No, I don't. I don't really know. I'm just trying to remember the basic functions of these buttons. But you know what? At least I should tell you how to play the game, and like in that David Beckham game. So I suppose it's at least control. So we'll just skip this. Okay, I don't think there is. Great, so, oh, okay, well, it's short at least. Uh, okay, so. Okay, I. No. Nope. Oh! <laughs> okay, I was trying to use the. Uh, I was trying to use the dual shock analog thing and. I think it's switched off for this game. I think that's why, because like I switched it off and then started working. What the hell. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. And yeah, as you can clearly see, I'm sucking hard at this. Okay, I don't know why you passed that. Yeah, you got some points. Nice. Uh, I didn't go on the whole actually trying to steal the ball part. So the thing about. I could say it's about every basketball game I've played. I'm good at offense, not very good at defense though. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I'm just doing fouls randomly. <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to steal the ball. Uh, shoot no max and relax no cool no shoot some. Oh, you bugger. No, I don't want to play that guy. Here, do you change players? Is it circle maybe? So that's the problem, I don't really know. See, I'm, I think there's a button to, uh, you know, to change which player you're controlling. Oh, okay, I see why he's passing it. Uh, yeah, okay, I see why he's passing it to the guy, like, on the other end of the court. It's because, uh, because I was pressing, like, left and doing it. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, so I kind of get the passing thing. Yeah. No, get the... Okay. Yeah, because you have to press the direction the player's in, I think. Oh, you bugger. Yeah! Oh, did I get fell for that? Or... Because he clearly landed on the other guy. <laughs> actually, I'm not sure, did that count? Or... I'm, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Oh, wait, no. I got free through. So I can go in. Yes! Nice. Oh, okay, so I guess they got fell. <laughs> so now I'm leading by, like, five doors. Oh. No. Alright. No. 
I'm not sure how you switch plays in this. I don't fully understand the controls of this game. It's kind of sad. I mean, they tell you how to do it at the start. Uh, no, you bugger. See, he just seems to switch randomly, and I can't really tell what to do. Well, we have to pass to the guy in the event. Because, oh, no. Yeah. How long is this going to go on for? Because this is pretty... Im well, I mean, I wasn't expecting to win this anyway. I was expecting to do pretty terrible. See, I think... I'm going to bet this is like double dribble. You have to, like, let go of the button at the right time. To have a better chance of it going in, I think. Okay, I'm not sure how to try to steal the ball, because I'm sure it was square. Okay, I think it... Okay, apparently it's a circle. Yeah, I'm just remembering wrong, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm not totally sure how... Oh, okay, is it the X button to change players in defense? I can only assume it is, because it seems to be the only button that does that. Like, the, all the other buttons, when I try... It, when I try to do it, it doesn't really work. Now, what the hell? No, I thought the circle was to steal the ball. They just like jump in the air for no reason, so I don't really understand that. Yeah. As you can see, it's going pretty terrible. See, that's the problem I have with basketball games. Is no matter no much which game I play, I'm always terrible at defense. So it's, I just have to basically rely on having the opponent not to steal the ball off me. And, yeah. Oh no, if I knew. I mean, if I. Yeah, if I could remember the controls for this, I'd probably be able to get some over this. But as you can see, I'm doing terrible, so whatever. No. Okay, what the hell? I pressed right, and it... I was holding right to try and get the guy that was like, you know, near the guy was trying, you know, that was near the guy passing the ball. Uh, no, you bugger. No. Okay, so yeah, the X button does change the player you're playing as. Uh. But he seems to do just. He seems to pick randomly half the time. Like it just picks some random player on the other side of the court. I don't really get that. And why do I have to play as the away team? Like I don't get why I can just play as the home team. Like it, unless I oh know maybe you could change it in the options, but it, I'm not sure about that. Let's see if I can get a free pointer, but everything is gonna work. What the hell are you doing? Just put the ball in the net. It's not that hard. Hell, even I could do it every now and then. I suck at sports. <laughs> not just in, <laughs> not just in real life and video games too. <laughs> as you can clearly tell from this. Yeah. As you can see, I lost. Then again, you know, I was playing. I mean, I'm not really familiar with basketball. I'm not really familiar on the. No, what the I don't want to watch a replay. What the hell are you talking about? Why does every single game on the PS1 need to have a replay? And why is this thing crash? I don't want to just go back to the menu. That's one thing that always bugs me at the PS1. Why does every single game on the console need to have a replay mode? Okay, I don't care about replays. I just want to move on to the next thing or next bit, whatever. Okay, we roll two. Yeah, I mean, I, I played this one recently. This was on demo 96, I think. And I remember you got to reset this one, which really sucks. Yeah, uh, but you know. It's, yeah, we gotta do it, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm, a, I'm guessing this is the same demo that was on 96, you know, like the same track and everything, but we'll see. Uh, I don't get this championship edition 2, like there was a, like there was another edition that wasn't championship edition or something, I don't really get that. Uh, but this is a really good game, actually. Uh, I want the analog controls on for this. <sighs> What is this? This is one thing that bugs me at the PlayStation more than anything. It's the fact that, like, half the time you try to, like, use analog controls and it just turns the controls off completely. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because I want to use analog controls for this game. That's what I'm used to. And for some reason it won't let me. I'm not sure if that's just because, like, the last game I played. Or if it's just... Or if it's just the PlayStation being a piece of garbage or something. I don't know. No! Why can't... This is stupid, and okay. Apparently, I can't change the options for some reason. Medium right, very long. No, nope, apparently, I got players with a freaking D pad, even though I never played B Val 2 with a D pad. And I kind of wish I could switch the vibration options off because I was never really a fan of vibe. I never, I was never a fan of like vibrating controllers or anything. It's like 
to me it always just felt like a gimmick. It just felt like really pointless and stuff. You know, it's just, you know, it's just a waste of, it's a waste of minutes, is what I think. You know, so you can just cut it out and it would cost a bit less to manufacture your know, controllers. And it's like, you know, I mean, I couldn't, you know, I mean, animal controls, okay, you know, those are actually beneficial. You know, they, you know, they can improve the controls, you know, in some games. I mean, you know, the Colin McRae games use it, and I think this game uses it as well, but of course I can't do it here because it's not working. Uh, that's because I'm doing less terrible than I did last time. And apparently the videos go in really badly because the program they used to record this stuff is being a twat. Essentially. I mean, okay, I don't know why my class stopped there. But I wouldn't really see if I could do better than last time. At least, if I can have the con up tip this time around, that would be nice. So far, so good, I guess. I should, I should probably get a screwdriver to this control because he's making like a like a rattle noise whenever it vibrates and it's really annoying. I mean, again, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, vibrating functions in in video games entirely pointless. Okay, that was weird. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, there's really no reason for it. The, it's, I don't really understand why they even bothered putting it in video games, because it serves no purpose whatsoever. It's just, it's here just as a gimmick. You know, it doesn't help gate. You know, it doesn't help gameplay. It doesn't help you know, controllability or anything. It's just there for the sake of being there, as far as I'm concerned. And I've never understood why they put it in this stuff. It just, I never really got it. You know, it's like touch screens. I, I'm going to say this right now, I hate touch screens. I think they're terrible because controlling them, like using a, trying to control them on a video game is impossible. Wrong way. I was about to sod you. It's, but yeah, it's, I always, I always hated touch screens because, you know, it's just they're hard to control and, you know, trying to type on them is impossible. Well, impossible to type fast anyway. It's like, seriously, you compare typing on a keyboard to typing on a touch screen, night and day, basically, because keyboards actually work and touch screens are complete shite. I'm just going to say it right now. And again, play, trying to play video games on them is impossible, and I don't, I'm really not convinced that they have the durability with a keyboard. Because, I mean, keyboards can work for a really long time before you take at least decent care of them. Yeah, you don't just get dirt all over them, all over the place. You know, they should be fine. Um, but this... Sorry, not this. Um, but it's like touch screens, it's like... I just get the feeling that eventually they just go wear out, and it's like, you know, in like 10 years, you know, like your average phone, like nowadays, is going to be completely useless. But anyway, we've got... Oh, yeah, we've got this one again. I assume this is a video. If it's just the demo again, I'm just going to skip it, because... I've already played this once, I don't need to play it twice on the same video. <laughs> but like I said, touch screens, I don't really get them. It's just kind of pointless to me. And yeah, I think this is a video. Well, we've got to watch it, I guess. Actually, I'll say that. No. Is this a video? Yeah, it is. Because there was a bunch of company logos again, wasn't there? On the other one. Wait, actually, no. Isn't this just the intro video? It certainly looks like it. But yeah, anyway, back to my rat and touch screens. It's like, I don't really understand them. Okay, so, okay, this is an actual trailer. But it's like, like I said, I don't really get them. It's like, why do they, why do they, you know, why are people like hyping them up like they're actually like really good? Because they're really not. Uh, okay, some weird version of Arknoid there. It actually reminds me of a game on like this handheld I played. Where there's like a ball and you have like it wants to actually no good to forget kind of wants to curve his block ball on the Game Boy where you've got like f where there's a certain stage where you got like four paddles one on each side of the screen and you got like get rid of all the blocks obviously this isn't that but still uh, I'm not sure if we have to replace this I doubt it because I mean really who cares about this you know I mean Mel Gear Solid that's the game that people care about you know Final Fantasy 7 and all that the ones I've actually had to Replace. I don't think we have to replace this. I mean, I mean, seriously, who really bought this game back in 2001? Did I tell you right now? I certainly didn't. 
be able to part time run the Pula. Just... That was brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> no, of course not. I do apologize for like, the chair sound in the background. It's just, you know, it's where my chair is. And it's back to his like. I don't keep fixing my but whatever. Harry Potter. You know, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, I assume. I don't really know what else this could be. I mean, like I said, this is from 2001, so, you know, Philosopher's Stone had been released in cinemas around about this time. Oh, yeah, games. Why do you have to suck? Actually, I've never played this, so I don't know if it's any good or not. But I seem to remember this is one of those games you can get for, like, a pound nowadays. Like, because no one cares about it. Uh, it doesn't seem too bad, though. Judging by this video. Okay, so you got the... This. But yeah. Well, I'm assuming this is based on the film. Actually, you know what's kind of funny is there's actually a couple... There's actually, like, a... Yeah, there's like a Harry Potter game on the NES of all consoles. Because apparently someone thought it'd be a good idea to make a version of it for that. And it bears no resemblance to the book or the film whatsoever. And what's funny is apparently it was made before the movie was released. It was made in like 1999, I think. And it's basically a game where you play as Harry Potter and you go around like kung fu kicking people like in the first level. You end up like, you basically kung fu kick Dudley in the face like a billion times. And he like shows up like three or four times on level, it's ridiculous. It's kind of an amusing game, but like, that one is kind of hilariously bad to me. Just because someone thought it would be a good idea to make a beat em up based on Harry Potter. Uh, I can't really say anything about the game that was on that video, but yeah. It looks like a game, I guess. Uh, what else is on here? I'm going to go for the month, because I was really looking forward to this one, wasn't I? Great. Yeah, I really don't care for these videos because they're just stupid. <laughs> yeah, gold them all. Oh god, that music, 2000 music. Just brilliant. I mean, I don't even know if the, I mean, I'm, this might have been made by, like, you know, the staff who made the discs or something. I'm not really sure. You just got a little bit. I mean, hell, the song I did sound a bit better. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't remember it, to be honest. Yes, random guitar for no reason. I mean, seriously, I don't get why they even bother putting these videos on here. I mean, I would just skip them, but, you know. I try to show off everything I can on these discs, which basically means I'm having to watch garbage like this. I mean, it's brilliant. It's like... Yikes, I think they mean Ryan Giggs. Well, I don't know, maybe the whistle is some guy called Gx, and I don't remember him. Oh, yes. Uh, can we just end this video? I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of hoping the PlayStation crashes now, just so I don't have to watch any more of this. <laughs> Shows how brilliant this is. Oh, yes. Uh, Quirr. Okay, that's not a very common name, I don't think. <laughs> I don't get, like, seriously, who bought PES? I don't get it. I mean, I said it before, but it's like, I don't like PES, I just thought games sucked. Uh, you know. I mean, it's like... I'm not really sure what to say about this disc right here. It's... Yeah, I mean, looking back on the games, I mean... I mean, yeah, I do these summaries at the end of the videos, but, you know... I'm going to save for that, and I'm just going to talk about some other garbage over this, like, uh, something. <laughs> oh yes, what's coming up? I think I might do, uh, cause I've got a lot of discs, uh, there's one that I might do, uh, PlayStation, but actually no, you'll see what it is when I get to it. I'm not going to spoil it, like I have done with other things. Oh, but yeah, I've got like... Yeah, I'm going to take a look at every disc I missed, apart from 89, and well, actually I'm, I'm probably going to skip, I'm probably going to skip the ones PSXU has done for now, seeing as, you know, he's done video footage of those ones on YouTube, which basically means skipping 85, 86, and 87, I mean I did do, it, I mean I did do 84, but whatever, uh, okay that's not David Seaman, <laughs> 
But anyway, um, see, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing like you know, pretty much all the discs that I missed between. Which you know, I'm gonna be doing number eighty, number eighty-two, number eighty-three. Are there any others? I'm not really sure. Cause I mean, the other ones either I've done or PSHU has done. Cause I mean, there's 89, but I've got 89, so I can't do a video on that one yet. Yeah. And yes, as you can see, this is just what it is. <laughs> I mean, you're right away, so to say about it. Uh. So yeah, I'm going to be doing like another three discs after this one. I don't know if I'm going to record them all tonight. Probably not. But whatever. I'm probably just going to record like 80 and probably 82 or something. Maybe. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, I'm, I'm looking at what's on, eight, on number 80, in fact. Like right now. And uh, there seems to be some good stuff on here, actually. And some stuff that I've played already. Which is brilliant. Um, yeah. But I'll look at that one next time. And yes, all calls cost 25p. 25p more than this video is worth. Just see inside the mag for full entry details. We haven't got the magazine that this came with. But whatever. I mean, I've got a few of the magazines. Like, I've got a. Yeah, so from the middle of the series, like 50, whatever, around about. Let's see what else we've got on this. Uh, actually, no, I'll go to the downloader first, so I don't have to reset the PlayStation. Hopefully. Because I'll probably end up having to reset it anyway, knowing this. But yes, the downloader, as usual, because this always appears on these high number discs, from what I've noticed. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yes. As you can see, I've actually got a memory card loaded in my PS1 for once. Uh, ooh, okay, so it doesn't just sell the games off for the most part. So I think I'm missing these two are like uh, Tony Hawk's Pro. Yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 as well. I don't know what the these other ones are. Let's just have a look. Tenchu 2. Uh, yeah, I don't have. I mean, I don't have Tenchu 2. I mean, like, I played it on another demo when I died, like, two seconds into the game. So I don't think I'm really going to bother getting that game. Because I'm going to search right now. I'm t I can't play Tenchu to save my life. Like, I never, you know. I played it, like, a little bit. But it's just, the problem that I have with the game is just, I suck at the game, but I don't really want to get any good at it. It's like the difference between that and, like, Metal Gear Solid. It's, you know, Metal Gear Solid actually bothered to get good at that game at one point. I've kind of lost the ability to play it since then, like since I played it. Uh, okay, two tracks have you got? Two, so yeah, custom level it to in that game. But anyway, uh, there's one thing left on this disc, which you can probably guess what it is already. It is Match Jong. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Mahjong, and yeah. Clearly, spell check him is not. <laughs> It was not Pale Line's priority. I mean, hell, the last disc they made spelled Colin McRae Rally wrong, so. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that they spelled Mahjong wrong, and uh, yeah, it's just the only game on here. So I may as well just end the video with this. I'm probably not going to play this one for that long, because, you know, I mean, I played this one in another demo, I can't remember which one, I think it was like 91 or 88, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I ended it after like a minute, because I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, yeah. So, I guess I may as well just sum up this disc. Just, you know, what it is, in a nutshell. Uh, overall, it's not really that great, to be honest. I mean, because David Beckham, soccer, I mean, maybe it's not a bad game, but they don't tell you the controls at the beginning, and for a football game, that's just criminal. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, every single football game demo should have a... Okay, they should tell you how to play the game at the, at the beginning. Because otherwise, you know, it's like, they don't, it's like, how would they expect you to know that stuff? Like, it's ridiculous. But yeah, it's like annoying that. Um, well, so a party, that demo kind of sucked because that time limit. I mean, the game, I mean, the game is good. I mean, you know, it's just like where I'm starting to get on the PS1. But the demo sucked, and that's the important thing. Party time will win the poo. I don't think I really need to go over that one, do I? Just, you know, it's just a preschool version of Mario Party, I guess. 
And then, you know, the rest of the stuff was just, you know, filler. And yet, I mean, you know, the NBA game might be good if I bothered to get any good at it, but I don't know. Uh, trying to think, Music 2000, yeah, Music 2000 is awesome, so, you know, I can't really say much else about it, aside from that. Uh, what's it, oh yeah, Viva 2 is really good, but, you know, it's Viva 2, so, of course it's going to be really good. <laughs> I mean, I've said this before, I never played V Valley 1. No, I don't. Oh, okay, I guess I can't pick the, this one. But yeah, like I said, I never played V Valley 1. I don't know if that's any good. I kind of hope it is. Because I'm considering getting that one stay of interest. Because, like I said, I really like V Valley 2. And, you know, I'm kind of interested to see how the first one compares to it. Nothing compares to you. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know why I said that there. Uh, yeah, just get rid of that. Yo, these so many more blocks in this place to get rid of or something. So many more buttons in this place to press activation time. Yeah. Okay, I still got so many moves left. I kind of want to get a game over just so I can end this. Because I do want to at least play a full game of this on one demo, or you know, as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure what else I could say about this. I mean, this is just a basic puzzle game. I mean, you know, you've most likely got this on your computer, in fact, because, you know, it's on Windows as a uh, Mahjong Titans. You know, and I've got Mahjong, you know, I've got Windows 7. You know, Mahjong Titans is just, you know, it's just this, except it's on the PC. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Okay, I can do that. Fair enough. Uh, I don't. I can't really see what else I could do here. I know there's people probably screaming at me like, "Do this move or whatever," but you know, it was so obvious to you, that it's just to me. Have you ever thought of it that, Mister Whoever was watching this video? Which is, of course, no one. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. And well, actually, there's like some other stuff on this disc. Um, you know. The, the video for Wind Poo. I mean, there's a few demos out there that have, like, both a trailer and a playable demo of the same game on the same disc. Like, um, Metal Gear Solid did that. Yeah, they had that with uh, Demo 42. I'm trying to think what other games did that. Uh, I think Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver on Demo 43. I might be wrong. Um, but I think that was it. Uh, oh yeah, and, come to, and speaking of Demo 42, that is definitely one of my personal favourites, because it has like, you know, it has a load of Net Eurozzi games, and that's pretty awesome. You know, it has like 14 Net Eurozzi games, and some of them are really good. Uh, this is one of the games that appears on that. Um, this one isn't really that great, it's just, you know, it is what it is, it kind of works. You know, it works, but, you know, it's not really... It's not going to set the world on fire like fun... I've tried to do this. Yeah. So, might as well just get rid of all the stuff. Try to get rid of all of it. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I could get rid of this one. <laughs> Show so much attention to detail I play I pay when playing this game. Uh yeah. Let's just do all of this. Get rid of all of the stuff. Throw it all away. Try to throw it all the way. Uh, where's the seven? Kill this one. This. Where's the three? I don't know what that is. I don't know where it is, rather. Uh, green. Isn't there another one that goes with? Yes, there is. Yeah, I understand this is going to be very boring to watch, but, you yeah. know. Like I said, I want to get at least one video of me playing this whole thing. I mean, I know the video is going to stretch to, like, Oh yeah, you can do this. I, I know the video's gonna stretch over and over because of this, but whatever. I don't particularly mind that. I mean, I, I like to keep videos under an hour, but, you know, if it can't be helped, then it's just the way it is. And as you can see, the video's run to an hour right now. Then you probably read that yourself. Snoop! I'm a gangster. Y'all knew that. <laughs> When the pigs try to get your pocket like it's hot. 
Hmm. Wonder if that was wonder if that was on the same top me. Probably not. I mean I don't have the full game. I, I wanna get the full game, I just don't have it. Uh you know. That's a game I wanna get at some point. But not today, because I'm poor. <laughs> I haven't got the money. And I'm focusing on enough things at the moment. Uh Where's the two? Ah, here it is. Let me get rid of this. I got a bully on my arm and a boy Sean Dawn. <laughs> Why am I quoting Soup Dog? I don't know. Because uh, I'm bored, I guess. Uh, what's the thing this matches with? I can't see it. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Okay, so we've got WHT. That's what we choose with UHT, which is entirely different. Uh, how do we get rid of this? Because I can't see the one that matches. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and here she will. Oh, and he'll. Oh, no, he'll. Pour you some breakfast, I guess. Whatever. Uh. Yeah. I want at least. I do wonder if I could. I want to see if I can always beat this, because that would be pretty nice one. Good. But. You know. I guess we will see in due time. Uh, okay, there's the red. Get rid of that. So I'm getting rid of the three. Get rid of the nine. I get the feeling I might do this. Uh, actually, I don't want to risk getting rid of that just yet. Yeah. I'm not going for any victories. I can sense victory. Actually, I forget, what happens if you do win this? I just can't remember. Uh, okay, so let's just wrap this up. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I've done it, I think. Yes. And with that... Yes, I've won! Awesome. Oh, <laughs> he's even got the firework effects, just like in Mahjong Titans as well. That's pretty cool. Actually, I do, I do wonder if, Mar if uh, Microsoft saw this game and basically decided to completely rip off the aesthetics and all that. I don't know. But with that, I shall see you later, people. See you.